This isn't working. What's up, everybody? I'm going to see if this runs before I even try to <clears throat> start breaking. It was really slow to start up. <clears throat> I've been sitting on this case of 2020 Tops Heritage for a couple weeks. And I uh, just decided to break it myself. <clears throat> I'll probably build some sets, try to sell those, and uh, keep my Cubs cards and maybe a few other uh, things and sell or trade some of the rest of it off. So I'm going to go right in. Box number one. Looks like it's streaming okay. Somebody's thumbs up. I don't know who's watching, but I appreciate you showing up. This is just a spur of the moment. Got through with work early today and uh, decided to do this. If you're in here, say hello. First box, we'll go ahead and open the uh, 50th anniversary box topper. Pedro Bar Barbon. Let's see. Get some regular sleeves here. Sleeve that up for the reds. What's up, Bob? Okay, cool. You may hear people talking. There's people around here in this office today, but uh, yeah, I need to move this camera back down. Head it up for the main picture. Got that Pedro Barbon buyback from 1971. We got Bob Lewis watching. Carsey and on. I just probably roll through these. Got a purple in the first pack, and there's an autograph behind it. I wonder if this might not be a hot box. Because usually that's weird to have two hits. Eduardo Escobar. And we got an auto on card rookie auto of Logan Allen from the Indians. That's pretty sweet. Clayton Kershaw, Jimenez, Yachty, and game four. Yeah, that's a nice start for sure. An auto and a purple. I mean, there's usually a hot box in the case, but at least, yeah, this is the hot box, evidently. Strikeout leaders because there's another purple. Vargas, Chance, Cisco. Victor Robles, Ramon Lariano is our purple. So that's pretty cool. Maybe this will be a good case for me. Like I said, I'm going to uh, sort these and probably build some sets and stuff like that. And sell some of it off to recoup. Some of my money and keep some stuff. Franco, Mitch Haniger, um, flashback seventy one. Insert got a Trevor Story purple. So we hit the hot box right off and got an autograph already. So that's crazy. Killa, Brad Keller, Edmund, Pagan. <laughs> have a feeling you'd want that. Batting leader, Severino, Moncada, Newman, Gio Ursula, Purple. So the Purple Hot Box. First box craziness. Jackie Bradley Jr., Jose Ramirez, 
craziness. Rookie stars for the Astros. World Series celebration. Margot. Here's a Mike Trout. Julio Tehran. Purple. I'd like to get a trout purple or something like that. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit. This will be a long stream if my computer works okay. Was that a SP? I didn't even look. I, I forget to look for SPs. It probably is 466. I probably will keep that. Got a little chipping along the bottom too, but I'll probably keep that trout <clears throat> for my own collection. If I pulled another one, I'd probably sell or trade it. New Age Performers, Flaherty, Longoria, Purple. Amora, Cruz, oh, Tom Murphy, 400 to 500, oh, the SPs are 400 to 500, I got you, shoot, you scared me, like, no way is Trout selling for that much, <laughs> Wilmer Flores, I usually just, uh, I'll probably just look for all that stuff later. Unless something catches my eye. Paul DeJong. Purple. I used to build the um, heritage sets, but it's, it's just it's just not worth it anymore to me. I'm not much of a set guy anymore for baseball. I like my team set. And that's about it. Although I do have some interest in building some sets for basketball and other sports. Bueller. Grinky. <clears throat> so getting the purples out of the way first thing. I had mentioned, you know, uh, in the group possibly doing a group break on this. But to be honest, I just didn't enough interest and I didn't want to spend an hour or two trying to figure out how to price it just for it not to feel so I'm okay with breaking it and uh, seeing what I can do with it do some eBay listings sell some stuff on Facebook or whatever we'll stock us Kimbrel. Mike Yastrzemski, New Age Performers. That's a pretty good one. The Aquino and Alvarez purple. Pretty sweet. Probably not a bad pull right there. <clears throat> Move some of these base out of my way. Yeah, yeah, you can tell a little bit easier. Yeah, it was a nice purple that uh, Aquino and Alvarez. Not a bad pull. Leaders. Thomas. William. Otani. This is action. So this is a variation. Uh, it's right there. It says action. 
above the picture there. What's up, Ken? So that's pretty cool. Got a Ryan Presley purple, so we're still in the midst of a hot box. <clears throat> so we got the Trout SP and uh, Otani Action and the Logan Allen autograph out of this box so far. So, darn good box. Hope it's a good case. Joey Gallo, Tim Anderson, Jack Flaherty, Cardinals, Purple. Everyone, you got that right. Freeman, Luke Weaver. <clears throat> I'd love to pull something cool out of this case. Flashback crew. Eduardo Escobar. Purple. Rizzo. So yeah, this is going to take a little bit. The fun part of be sorting it all. <laughs> Not really. There's Logan Allen, rookie to go with his autograph there. Adam Eaton. Going to get every team but the Cubs in these purples. I was hoping to get some Cubs purples and inserts and stuff. To check my phone there. Two thirds the way through the first box. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I'm just, I'm just streaming this to stream it in case somebody wants to watch it. It's no biggie. John Carlo, JD Martinez, purple. <clears throat> I've looked at this case sitting on my kitchen table for long enough and decided to open it that was my initial plan and uh, I, like I said I mentioned to the guys in the group about possibly breaking it and you know a few people commented but I just was uh, I don't know a little leery of listing it Plus, I like to break something every once in a while. So, Willie Mays there. Insert. Dang, didn't I already get? Yeah, that's two of those. I got this one in the last pack. That's, I thought I was getting some doubles there. Look at there. I'm cornering the market on J.D. Martinez. Shed long. Move this stack out of the way. <clears throat> yeah i'm just people collect what they want to but the the 2020 stuff just isn't of any interest to me and i'm not going to jump on board the uh db cooper i'm not going to jump on board the uh, trying to flip it just not what I want to do because <clears throat> I just, I don't know. I thought about picking up a couple of the Ricky Hendersons, but I only really liked one of them. So uh, people like it, more power to them. I, you know, nice stash, but uh, not for me. And, you know, you can see the market manipulation going on there and uh so it, it, there's a i think there's a lot of market 
manipulation going on right now across the board on not just sports cards. Everything collectible is nuts right now. Whether it's video games, comic books, Pokemon cards, Magic the Gathering cards, uh, board games, uh, you name it. Yeah, me too. I mean, like I said, you know, people want to collect it, it's fine. It's just not for me. I don't have any interest. Collect what you want. I've been ignoring the some of the investor guys. I was, occasionally I'll watch a little bit of their video, but it, I just kind of get bored with it after a while. Pat Corbin. I haven't got any really incredible purples. Um, when you when you're pointing people to a Patreon or or uh, want people to be a member of your whatever, that kind of is a red flag for me. I mean, it's sport cards, this trading cards. <clears throat> so um, I support one person on Patreon. I actually do support one, and it's worth it to me. So. If it's worth it to you, more power to you. Because like I said, I do support one person. Another candle spit part. We finally got a good purple. Got the Aaron Judge. <clears throat> uh, and the only reason I support the one on Patreon is he uh, allows you to purchase some stuff from him. At, uh, and it's not even uh, baseball card related. So something else I'm into. So uh, he allows you to purchase stuff from him at a discounted rate if you are at a certain level on Patreon, and it's worth it to me. So there's one of the white white borders uh, strikeout leaders, but that's not numbered or anything. So I guess that's just some kind of parallel. Go ahead and get this uh, Chris Sale purple. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Dom Strasburg and Scherzer, strikeout leaders. I guess if you're collecting any of those guys, you, that'd be a card you'd want for your collection. This hasn't this has been a pretty good box? Hoskins, Dan Vogelbach, a little off center there. Yeah, I don't even see a number on that one. It's just white. I don't see it. I don't see any number, so it's plain looking card. It's not chrome or anything. Caratini. Grill, Sean Murphy. Two packs left in the first box. If you're looking for something to put you to sleep, you can watch this today. <clears throat> Chris Archer. Then and now, Pete Alonzo and Willie Stargell. Tim Anderson, purple. <clears throat> Pretty cool. Hastley, Stella. I probably missed some short prints or something here and there, but I'll find them when I go sorting through. I'm sure. Got something shiny coming up here. Gurriel. Uh, get that in a sleeve. We'll flip it over. That is number 571. Yuli Gurriel. And we got our. Purple of Nola. Till 
Oh, it is one o'clock. Oh, you're that's right. You're behind me. I'll probably be here. Well, there's their base, uh, Judge. All right, that's the end of the first box. <clears throat> some of this stuff out of the way and start on the next one. <clears throat> Big hit was the Logan app on card autograph. So I want to focus. That was kind of our hit there. Did get the Otani action in the trout short print. Out of that box and the Gurriel and that white border and that's our bye bye. So, not too, not too shabby. Putting these in my card sorting over here so I can kind of have the insert sorted box right off. I probably will be getting rid of a couple sets if anybody wants the set of uh, the SPs. I doubt I'll make a full set of those, so I'll probably just sell those or trade those, I imagine. In the box top for Aaron Judge. Oh, and Vlad. Two in this one. It's pretty cool. In the uh, Super Baseball. I got to speed up a little bit if I want to get through this case this year. Another Aaron Judge. Stewart, there's that same then and now card. <clears throat> but it does have Pete Alonzo on it, so I guess that helps. Paddock, Fowler, John Means. Nope. Kimbrel. Nothing there. Look and see if there was any 489 Aaron Hicks was our short print. <clears throat> Rogers. Another Willie Mays card. We have Maryfield. Ken, are you still working from home? Oh, nice. We have flip the dresses. We got an Aaron Judge relic. Can't beat that. Clubhouse collection. Aaron Judge. Not numbered. You are working from home. Okay, I figured you might be. <clears throat> That's a nice pack. Freddie Freeman. Let's see if we got anything in here. 469 Julio Urias. Short print. <clears throat> I have to say, this has been a decent case so far. Got the auto in the last box and got the trout. Not trout, uh, judge. Relic. Not too shabby. Rowdy Telez.
see it. I'm going to Miggy flip through these a little bit quicker. No short prints than that one. Kurt Suzuki. Got a no. Ooh. Not a bad one to get a white border of, y'all. Shohei Otani. That's two good cards of him. White border Otani. That is not numbered. Not too shabby. I'll take it. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. It's better than a sharp stick to the eye any day. Look at the numbers here. 407 Matt Olson. It's a short print. <clears throat> How long this video will be, y'all? I just thought I'd do it live and got that same DB Cooper one again. Those are repeating pretty bad. The inserts. I think three of the four inserts I've already had out of the first box. Thanks, Tops. Trey Turner. Let's see if we got an SP. Nope. Yeah, I used to build the heritage sets there for a few years and I actually don't even have them anymore. It just became too much of a chore. All the short prints and Silliness and Ian Hap. May and Lux, that's a nice one. It just wasn't worth it to me anymore. You couldn't really say your set was done because of, to me, because all the short prints, Piscotti short print, all the, and the ones like there's variations and all that it's hard enough to just do the team sets so is what it is new age performers on where do we go Mookie Grinky, Nola, Jay Bruce. Anything in here? Oh, we got an action variation of Mookie. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Got a variation. I have to go back through with the first box there and double check some stuff, I guess. I'm sure I left the short prints in there. <clears throat> Dwight Smith Jr. is a short print. So I'm sure I left some short prints for sure in that first box. May roll through those real quick in a minute. Acuna, he's a short print. Figured he would be pretty sweet. Kershaw, Cole, New Age Performers.
<clears throat> Melina, <clears throat> Dylan Bundy, weird looking car for some reason. Four hundred. Is four hundred an SP or after four hundred? So I think I had a Yachty in the first box. Yeah, starting to recognize some cards here, seeing them more than once. German Marquez, 438, so he's a short print. <clears throat> Delino DeShields, DeShields Jr. Can't talk. Tyler Chatwood, 401. Okay, thank you. I figured that, especially since I had two of that Yachty already. <clears throat> All right. About ready to see something cool here. Got a pack or two left of this box. <clears throat> Lorenzo Kane is a short print. Pack of the box. Uh, another Willie Mays card. Willie Mays insert. <clears throat> Let me double check this first box real quick and get my SPs out of there. It won't take me but a couple minutes. That way I've already got that done. And a Walker Bueller out of the first box. And uh, Reese Hoskins was a SP. So I missed that one. Double check now. Okay. So that's two. <clears throat> I got a couple of stacks here. Tim Anderson was an SP. I know we pulled the trout. <clears throat> the trout was an SP, so oh, that first box. John Carlo Stanton was an SP out of the first box. The squeaky chair. Well, I got one last stack here and I'll be caught up. And anything else? Victor Robles was a SP. It's like they put the good players as SPs, don't they? A little dirty in my opinion but I guess it makes their cards worth more if there's not as many of them printed Walker Bueller again so I 
think that's a double. Robbie Ray. Yeah. It's the chair that comes with the office, so not actually my chair. <clears throat> Got my fat butt in it, too. All right. Got all the SPs pulled. In the first box now. <clears throat> so I can keep them in a separate pile. So we got this uh, Judge Relic White Border Otani <clears throat> and a Mookie Action variation. So that's pretty cool. Not a bad box. A few uh, of the inserts. I like to keep those sorted. Makes life easier. So we'll move this stack of base. going to be a ton of cards to sort through. All right. Next box. I said I appreciate y'all hanging out. Just the opening of personal case break. I don't do these very often. I don't think I've ever broke, uh, ripped three or four cases for myself. All the years I've collected. <clears throat> so, uh, I know last year I did two cases of Heritage and Miners. I forgot to open the, let's keep our roll going. I meant to open this first. These are never a good player. Ron Herbal from the Braves. Buyback. Be nice to see like a really killer player. And they're always, these 71s are so worn. Hard to keep them looking good. All right. Castillo, there's the Aquino and Alvarez. Flashback. Javi. Pretty cool. Kendrick. Mad Max, Yelich. See if we've got an SP in this one. Don't believe we do. Nope. Nada. Kind of did this as an experiment. See how much money I'll lose. <laughs> uh, I figured that Machado would be the short print. But it was Paxton. I'd love to get a killer autograph. That would make this a really good case. Nico, rookie. There's another Willie. Yeah, a killer autograph would be awesome out of this. Something really cool. 
And, ooh, speaking of something very cool, got a Pete Alonzo jersey. Dang. Not numbered, but still, wow. No complaints from this one. Pete Alonzo jersey. <clears throat> Polar bear. Dang. Judge last box. Alonzo this box. Got a little pinstripe on it too. Sweet. Going to get a plain jersey. I'm glad it's him. Somebody of his caliber. Segura, Aguilar, Santander. Gene Segura is the SP. It's so not too shabby. Flashback. There's May and Lux again. I don't think I will try to grade any of these because black borders are brutal on grading. So I probably will skip that. That would be one way to recoup some funds. But with black border stuff, they um, I tried some 86 tops one time. I did get a couple nines. That's a nice Arenado. And, uh, well, best I could do was a nine. So I am steering clear of grading black border stuff. Someone else can try it. Plus, PFAs. So backed up you never get your cards back so who wants to wait a year to get your cards well smith there's the gary sanchez it's not worth it luis castillo is the short print i am considering doing some grading with sgc in the near future but Most of that's just stuff I want from my personal collection. I want slabbed. Uh, finally got a then and now different. Fergie and Strasburg. I have pulled some good stuff out of Heritage in the past. Michael Brantley, I'm pulling the Astros on these uh, refractors. The other one I pulled was an Astro. Numbered 211 of 571. Devers. Red eyed peas. Lord. Oh, gosh. Oh, Tani. That is a short print. That's the regular version. So it looks like they're putting all the, like, really star players. Or a lot of those they're putting in the SP slots now. Performers Tim Anderson. I thought she was in the black eyed piece. <laughs> oh. Kyle Seeger. There is a Jordan Alvarez. 
That is probably a very yeah, that is the variation. Nice. Got him on his own. Instead of the dual card. 54 action. Cool. Thank you, sir. That's a nice card. <clears throat> Jake Arietta. I don't see anything too crazy there unless there's an SP. Yeah, Robert Roberto Asuna. Yeah. Vlad. That's an SP. It's a cool card. Tukey. Yeah, all the good players are SPs. A lot of them. Elito, new age performer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Black eyed peas. Enrique, there's a Biggio, and a Bryce Harper, I bet that's a short print, yep. Do to do, do, another Bichette. Uh, I think that might be the first one. I can't remember. Bichette and Anthony K. Rookie. Another flashback. That's like the second or third time we've got that one. Quintana. Nada. No SP is on that one. Uh, no. Uh, what I was planning to do is I'll probably build me a Cubs team set and keep a few cards I like. And uh, maybe, I bet that's a short print, Pete Alonzo. Um, sell some stuff I don't want to keep. Um, maybe make a few sets or something. I don't know. And uh, sell those to help me recoup some of my money. Uh, I usually, like I said, I buy a case every great once in a while and rip it for myself. Can't do it much. It's not very affordable. Got some good SPs in this box. Pete Alonzo, Bryce Harper, Vlad Jr., Atani. Some good SPs in that one. Did get the Alvarez variation. And got the Michael Brantley refractor and the Pete Alonzo relic. Yeah, probably just, you know, sell trade. Kind of did it as an experiment, too, to see how it could come out. Um, problem is, uh, 
Unless I get doubles of some of these SP players, there'll probably be several I want to keep. I'm sure I'll want to keep the Trout. Maybe the Acuna, some stuff like that. Get the base cards out of the way again. And I'll continue ripping. All right. This is box four. And I'm just doing this, sharing the video. You know, people can hang out, come in and out. And, you know. Thought it'd just be there for somebody if they wanted to watch a whole case being broke, they can watch it, you know. So. Might build up my watch time as well. All righty. If somebody actually sat here and watched the whole thing. <laughs> another buyback. And another... Meh, Bob Spence from the White Sox. For Hagen, Tehran, another Arenado. Giovanni Gal Galagos is the SP. I'll trade or sell off the SPs for the most part, unless it's a player I collect or something. Like I said, I'll probably keep the Trout and Acuna, stuff like that. Sell or trade off the rest. Another Willie. Will Smith getting jiggy with it. Can't help but say that. I'd love to pull a killer autograph out of this. Uh, you never know. It'd be awesome. Be a rush. Oh, what a rush. I see anything too crazy in there. Nope. If you rip a case, you got a chance at a killer hit. The more boxes you rip, the better chance. Cubs again, rookies. My cake is, I haven't seen that card. I figured he'd be the short print, but he's not. Shane Bieber. Is I bought up a few of his rookies. I hope he does well whenever baseball returns. I'm not much of a speculator, but I don't know. Just something told me to buy him, so I did. Flashback. I said, yes. Pato, Endleton Simmons, do, do, do. no SP, at least top she can rip the packs open, Starling Castro, Soto, Miggy, Miguel Cabrera, 500, Michael Chavis, Chavis, however you say it, he's the SP.
David Price, New Age performer, Hira, 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 however you say his name. I think the trophies are always so cool on these, that old school trophy, the rookie cup. All-star rookie, whatever. I think the bigger trophies look cool. Ian Kennedy. Ooh, nice. That's definitely a keeper for me. For my Buxton collection. Cool to pull something for your collection. White border. Byron Buxton. A little off center, but that's cool. It's not something I'd grade anyway. Nice. Yep, that is definitely PC. That's a keeper. Byron Buxton from Baxley, Georgia. My cousins live, I got some cousins that live there. I grew up near there. So cool. That's why I, I kind of semi collect him. 491 Austin Riley was the SP. Awesome to get that. Don't have to trade for it or anything. I don't buy a ton of his stuff. I usually just trade or get whatever I pull. So I don't really. I have bought a few here and there, and I get a take a notion. I'll buy something of his, but usually I just keep what I pull or sometimes uh, doing trades on trading card database. I'll get something of his and trade. Uh, Terry, if you're not on trading card database, it's something you should probably check out. There are a good bit of Canadian traders on there. You could probably do some trading with those guys. Not sure how much it'd be worth to do the. There's that Austin Meadows uh, base though of that uh, Bob Bob Lewis was talking about. Oh, it is the short print Austin Meadows. But uh, anyway, Terry, if you are watching, uh, it's a good site to trade on. And there are some Canadian traders on there. Probably mostly hockey, I would assume, but still they're there. Yeah, I got the Austin Meadows SP. Do you have that, Bob? Well, Lob Buis. Bryce Harper, that's got to be a variation. Yes, the action variation. Nice. You got it. Okay. I was going to ask, make sure you had it. I got the Bryce Harper action variation. That's a nice card. I'll probably be keeping that one also. <laughs> that's my problem. So I want to keep too much. But it's in my collection. So that's, that's cool. If you collect a player, you pull a card of them. That's a good thing. So nice. Well, I'm glad I was going to make sure you had it, or I'd send you that one. But if you got it, cool. Had a Max Kepler SP in that pack. Ranger Suarez. There's Fergie and Strasburg again. I have a feeling they're going to make it difficult to put the insert sets together. I 
Oh, we got our hit. We haven't got a hit out of this box yet. Hopefully, I haven't missed it. I don't think I would have. I've been checking the bikes. We'll do an auto or relic out of this box. I prefer a nice auto. Nick Sinzel. I figured that was the SP. All the really hot rookies or hotter players and stars are SPs. New Age Performers, Josh Hader. Ooh, we got a look at there, guys. We got a thicky. You don't have that one? Let me set it aside for you. Because right now, or I'll forget Austin Meadows. Because I'll have to, I'll actually probably write your name on the top loader, so I'll remember to put it in your. I'll just put it in your st uh, stash. You can always put it in another top loader. Oh, that's no problem, man. That's what it's all about, man. Helping each other out. Get my marker here. Because if I don't do this, I'll... I'll forget Bob Lewis. So now you can buy some spots in the breaks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So cool. I set that aside for you. I'm glad you get it. Let's see what this hit is. It's a thicky. Got a thick card here, guys. Danny Jansen, Martin Perez, Amoreas, and a Joe Torre nickel with a nickel in it for the Cardinals. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I've been trying to post what time I do them. Um, this is number 14 of 15. Pretty no low number. Joe Torre. Could put a 71 nickel in it instead of a 91. Uh, that's pretty lame, but there it is. Huh, that's cool. 14 of 15. Joe Torre. My buddy Dave might want that. Be cool for a Cardinals collector. Sandra Bogarts. Max Fried, Freed, however you say his name, was his SP. I hope all that works out. That was a cool hit, that Torre. I'd rather have an auto with somebody, but Pete Alonzo and Willie Stargell again. Third time we got that card. This is genuine 1971 US nickel, but it has a 1991 nickel in it. Somebody missed that.
Huh. Guess we'll see what happens there, won't we? Got something white coming up. Dude, Bob Lewis, are you watching? Because you're going to want to see this. Bam, white border. Austin Meadows. Card's only worth a nickel. A nickel ain't worth a dime these days. Number 12 of 71. I wonder if Bob saw it. He saw it. Oh, do you have that one? Wow. That's a cool card. Let's talk. Okay. Just message me later. We'll work out something, man. Wow. That was cool. Here's the SPs. Nothing too crazy. Get the inserts sets fixed up here. Yeah, we'll work out something on it, Bob. Because I want you to have that card. Uh, two nice cards there to Buxton and uh, Bryce Harper action. Tickled to have those. The awesome white border refractor. Austin Meadows, number 12 of 71. And uh, a nickel ain't worth a dime these days. It's supposed to have a 71 nickel in it. It's got a 91. Thanks, Tops. Hashtag thanks, Tops. That's what uh, Eric would say. All right, let's move some base off of here and go to the next box. <laughs> and we did get that buyback. You could always use the backup organ. <laughs> What are you trying to say, man? Box number five. Well, this has got a greatest moments box topper. First one of those I've seen, I think. I can't remember if we did one of those in the boxes we broke in the breaks. Alrighty. Another box. What's up, Dave? I'm on video, so. Yeah, I thought you were. Dude, you got to see this card I just pulled. Check that bad boy out. Joe Torre. Oh, my God. Got a nickel in it. It's clean. Pretty low serial number. Anthony Rizzo. That's cool. Greatest moments. Yeah, I just wanted to bring you your cards over there. I found a bundle at the house somehow that snuck home with me. I don't know how they ended up with the mixed up with the stuff at uh, the house. Yeah, y'all had a rough day. Yeah, I know. That's why I was asking. That's why I didn't stick around too long back there. I know y'all were dealing with that. I bet so. Flashback insert. That's not good, but that happens, man. That's part of the game, ain't it? That yeah, stinks. I guess y'all have had a lot of paperwork and crap to do. I hadn't heard that. I'll have to, I'll have to make a call and ask him. Uh, his truck was there. Sean's was there today. I stopped by and dropped some uh, mail off for the person I used to have. Drew? Mike? Probably Mike. Yeah. They just let him completely go? 
Sean drew the mic. One, one other. Uh, I can't remember enough. Let her go. Yeah. I'll make a phone call after a while and see what's up. I'm curious. They're just furloughed. Yeah, but no. No return date. No return date. Man, that ain't good. Yeah, that'd be helpful. Uh, that that stinks. I'm glad I wasn't there. Oh, nice Javier Baez relic. I'll tell you more. You gonna be around a little while? Uh, Are you heading out in a little bit? I'm not sure. I need Daryl to come in. I got some stuff away from my mom. I gotta take care of. I might take a break after this box anyway. I might holler at you in a minute. Because I'm already at an hour and something. I might take a halfway point break and holler at you in a minute. How about that? Um, yeah. It won't be long. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm not going in next few minutes. Yeah, I'll holler at you. I'll take me a break after this. Yeah, because he's doing all their paperwork. That's, well, he's not producing anything, you know, units-wise. Tony Oliva and Tim Anderson. Yeah, I'll holler at you in a minute. I have to see if we make you a Cardinals team set. I'll holler at you in a few. Yeah, guys, I probably will take a break after this and go to the bathroom and stuff and then maybe come back and stream the other half. Go find out what's going on there. I don't even know if I've been checking for SPs like I should. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, this office is open, so anybody can walk in. They're in the building. Albies. We got an SP? No? I bet I've missed some. Let me start me another stack. I won't have to check them all. Yeah, that's what we say here in the South, Terry, is well, I'll holler at you. Instead of I'll talk to you, we say I'll holler at you. It's a, it's a Southern thing. <laughs> Uh, Matt Chapman's the SP there. Yeah, go ahead and go through these real quick. Yeah, that's a southern thing. Hunter Renfro was an SP. Hey, I bet it does sound funny to you up there. Y'all don't say things like that. Y'all have such nice English. I'll just say A. You know A. Sano was an SP. Which I don't think you say that that bad. I haven't noticed that you say that, but I've talked to some other people from Can Canada, Canada and uh, they say A a lot. Make sure we didn't miss another SP. Nope. Yep. Holler. Holla, holla, holla. <laughs> we have some strange things we say here in the South. All right. Get back on track here. A boot. Yeah, y'all say a boot. Let me tell you a boot. Oh, that's funny. We all got our strange little, uh, Things we say. A boot. We say y'all and holler. All kinds of things. We got a chain. 
Got something shiny. JT Real Muto. Nice to see something shiny come up. Uh, those are numbered to $9.99. Angels rookies. Rangers rookies. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I'm sure even different parts of Canada, you guys can tell. To us, all the Canadians would sound the same, but I'm sure to you guys, you can tell the difference between different parts of the country, like here in America, where we can tell if you're from the Midwest or, or from the North or uh, 488 Christian Walker was SP or or whatever, you know, people from Boston have their accent and up north they have their accent. Deep south they got their accent. West Coast, I don't know. I never noticed them having anything too crazy. Yeah, we got different southern draws. Like, you can tell people from uh, eastern Virginia from the western side of the state, uh, especially certain section of eastern Virginia, they they got a certain uh, dialect and the way they say things. And some of that runs down into North Carolina. Oh, we got an action of Kershaw variation. So, yeah, there's a little dialects here. So, that's a Kershaw action variation. Pretty nice. Regular Byron Buxton there. Uh, you're probably looking for team bags, David Dahl. Um, that's probably what you're looking at. Um, let's see if I have a bag handy here. Or two set bags. They're resealable bags. Probably what you're talking about. This is what I, I, I made a huge order from BCW. Um, about every company makes them ultra pro. Probably looking for team bags, team set bags. They're handy to have. That's what I pack up everyone's cards in. I'm sure they're on uh, Amazon or whatever for you. I know I bought a freaking ton of them, so I wouldn't have to buy any for a while, but I'd go through a lot. Jeff McNeil SP. Um, the only thing I don't like them is the reseal thing. It's got a little piece of plastic you pull off over the sticky stuff, and uh, they're really hard to throw away. <laughs> they got so much static, you can't hardly get rid of them. Another Willie Mays. That's the only thing annoying about them, sort of, is that uh, I've got to the point where I just tape the bag shut because I... Uh, if you're doing like me, yeah, these will fold over the top, those team set bags like you're talking about and stick to it. But uh, when I'm using 20 or 30 of them and I keep trying to throw those things away, it just becomes a nightmare. They end up all over the floor and everywhere. But if you're just using one or two at a time, it'll be fine. Just my little quirk about them. You can get them for three or four dollars a pack or something. I like here. I don't know what to be up there. I don't know if you have a hobby shop around or or uh, anything. But uh, just look up team set bags or something. Team team bags on Amazon. 
CCW Ultra Pro, all those guys make them. And you get you get a hundred of them in a in a pack. There's a Jordan Alvarez and Aquino again. Ryu and Tom Seaver then and now. It's the first time I've seen that one. There's Lux and May rookie. Go to work. I am at work. Yeah. You should be able to find them somewhere up there, I'm sure. But surely they use them to make hockey team sets and stuff up there. Uh, I worked a couple hours this morning and I was done. Uh, let's not say we did. Guys, I'm going to open, finish opening this box and open one more and that'll be half the case. I'm going to take a break and I will come back and open the rest. I want to get this open today. So I will be back at 420. Charlie Bateman is 420. But yeah, I'm going to open one more box. So we're at a halfway point. And then I'll come back and open the rest. So that's pretty cool. We got a few SPs there. Blackman, McNeil, Dahl, Walker, Sano, Renfro, and Chapman. Uh, got the action variation of Kershaw. Got a Baez jersey. Got a real Muto Chrome. And typical inserts. Nothing too crazy. The flashback. New age performers then and now. They do these every year. I think the only thing they're doing different this year is the candlestick part thing. <clears throat> I would buy the thousand count. I mean, yeah, you probably never use them all, but you definitely won't have to go buy anymore for a while. Thousand count, man. That that's pretty crazy. That would be like ten packs of them, you guys. Let's rip through this one real quick. I need to take a bathroom break and we'll go find what's going on. With what Dave come and told me about. Uh, a lot of it's troubling times, man. I I don't get political on here. But troubling times. I worry about my. I got a lot of friends and coworkers that are at my former job, and it sucks to hear they're getting let go. Some of them are. Uh, I hate to hear that kind of stuff. So this is the. Francisco Lindor, greatest moments. I mean, uh, a thousand of them is a lot, but you know, depends how you want to store your cards and what you're going to do with them. Flashback. I go through a ton of them. I can, like when I sort after a break, I can go through a pack of them pretty easy sometimes, or nearly a pack. I may not go through a pack every time. I'll take that back, but I can go through a bunch. So these are definitely products you need to check the back of. At least you can easily find the variations now from just looking at the back at the card number. Robbie Ray is the short print. Luke 
Foigt. There's another Seal Stadium. Now I'm in St. Kendall State Park. There goes the cops by. Got something in this pack. Ooh. Well, God, all my relics have been good. Players. Vlad Jr. I mean, he, these relics usually aren't that great, but I mean, at least it's a decent player. Not numbered. Vlad Jr. Got Vlad Jr., Pete Alonzo, and a couple other good players. So, no complaints. Yeah, that's, there's nothing wrong with that card. <clears throat> Tim Anderson was the SP. Dexter Fowler. Then and now, Richie Jackson and... Jorge Soler. Mike G would like that card from the group. He's a Reggie Jackson collector. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's what, how I usually pack them up. Like if I ship them, maybe put a piece of cardboard on each side or something. Uh, just depends what, you know, if they're not very valuable cards, you might not worry about it, but I get where you're coming from. Give them a little bit of protection, stick them together. When I had my Fred McGriff collection, when I'd get 25 of one of his cards, I would put them in a team bag, uh, cause I collect doubles of him when I was collecting him and, uh, I would do that. Oh, something left off. Oh, we got a, a yellow bag. Huh. Well, that's different. First one of those I've seen. Luke Jackson. Yellow bag. I don't know. I don't know what exactly that variation is called, but you can see the rest of these are green. Some kind of variation there. Cool. Scherzer. Oh, there's another trout. So that's two uh, SPs of trouts I've got. That's nice. I can keep one and trade or sell one, I guess. Nice to get a double of that flashback. Alvarez and Aquino again. And, oh, nice. Good one for my Cubs. Uh, Anthony Rizzo, Chrome. I am happy to get that. To 993, 66 to 999. Happy to get that. First one of those I pulled. Yamamoto. Walker Bueller. Seems like I've got his SP a couple times. I'm not mistaken. Let's 
Some Arja. Bo Bichette, new age performer. Rookie. Nice. Nice. I don't really consider inserts rookies, though. I'm old school. I got that old school mentality. I read too many of those price guides back in the day when you had the XRCs and all that stuff. I'm old school, I guess. Set in my ways. You kids get off my lawn. That's that's still a good deal. Uh, a thousand penny sleeves for eight dollars. If you need them, I usually buy cases of penny sleeves myself. Milton Simmons. When I buy them, which is what like ten thousand or something. But yeah, I do so much with cards. There's another Hoskins SP. Uh, just pays to. Buy in bulk. But that price you mentioned for the team, two ninety five. I don't know what that converts to American, but it doesn't sound too bad. Even if it's three or four bucks, it's not the end of the world. Especially if you can get it shipped when you're ordering something else, you know. Um, like an add-on McCutcheon SP. Uh, sounds like reasonable. Deal to me. Yeah, I don't know what $8 Canadian uh, converts to on the penny sleeves either. I didn't think about that. I know you guys kind of get hosed on the conversion rate. But I think that site you're talking about is in your country. So. It's in Canada. So I've not heard of it. Two seventeen US. Oh, that's not bad. That's a good deal. All right, guys, we're almost to the end of this one. I'm gonna take a little break and I'll come back and do the uh, second half. Probably won't take but about a twenty or thirty. Minutes. Minute break. Chris Sale is the SP. I do want to finish this. Possibly do a little sorting this evening. Maybe come tomorrow and finish sorting Lou Brock and Malik, Malik Smith. Uh, that's a really good deal for a thousand penny sleeves. All right, just two or three packs left here. Maybe we'll get an auto in the uh, other half. Only got one autograph out of this case. Most of it's been relics. Garrett Cole. There's Luke Jackson again. See, that's the regular back. So that was just some kind of variation. But I've only seen one of them, so they must be kind of hard to find. AJ Pollock is the SP. Last pack. Oh, Dylan Bundy, another Willie Mays, Richie Martin. Shouldn't be anything in here since there was an insert. Yep. So from this box, got Rizzo Chrome, the Luke Jackson with a different back, and the Vlad Jr. Relic. And... Your general inserts again. So guys, I'm going to take me a break. If you 
you want to come back and watch when I get back on, I'll be back on probably about 30 minutes or so. I'm estimating. And uh, rip the other half. And uh, see what I can find. And everything. And I better go talk to him a minute see what's going on. I'm very curious. But uh, anyway, guys, I'll be back shortly with the rest of the case. Thank you guys for watching.